What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool news video where we will talk about who should replace Mo Salah if Salah is sold next summer or even in the January transfer window because Liverpool have to do their due diligence and we have to start the scouting right now. We have to prepare for the worst case scenario which is that Saudi clubs come in with a 100, 150 or even 200 million pound of for either in January or next summer and in this video I will talk you through guys uh, I will talk you through the shortlist of the potential players that could realistically replace Mo Salah of course Salah is irreplaceable you are not getting a right winger who will score 30 goals and get 10 assists a season every season for the next four or five years but Liverpool have uh, different strategies that they could implement and let me know out of the shortlist that I mentioned in this video we will talk through through all the players which is your preferred choice let me know in the comments below and of course the question can't be ignored forever how do Liverpool go about replacing Mo Salah we could go for a galactical type of signing sign a really a marquee marquee player but I don't think Liverpool usually do that we don't go for the superstar option because mainly it's too expensive and also Liverpool like to make their stars and grow them we could go for a like-for-like -like replacement from the Premier League or we could uh, just look at the data and sign the next up-and-coming uh, potentially the next Salah up-and-coming really good right winger or we could spread the funds throughout the team which wouldn't be the worst idea but I still think that we need to sign a right winger in place of Salah and we need to sign a world-class centre-back somebody who could be Become as good as uh, Van Dijk or, or Konate is. And Andy Jones, uh, who is working for the Athletic, he is mentioning Mbappe, Saka, Bowen, and uh, Kubo from Real Sociedad. I think Mbappe or Saka, we are not getting them unless a miracle happens. Uh, Bowen, I don't think is good enough for Liverpool. We talked about him uh, yesterday. Uh, Taka Kubo, we will talk about him a little bit later in this video. But according to English media sources, Liverpool Liverpool are interested in Karu Mitoma, but he's mainly playing on the left wing. We don't need really desperate need a left winger. Luis Diaz, Jota, Darwin Nunez, Gakpo, they can all play on the left wing. I think it's Luis Diaz's main position. But uh, Mitoma's current agreement with Brighton expires in 2025. So if uh, he doesn't sign a contract extension with Brighton, and that's possible, then of course a lot of clubs are interested in Mitoma. Liverpool, Man City, Barcelona and Napoli are all interested in Karu Mitoma. But uh, Brighton are confident that he's happy at Brighton and he will sign a new contract. Mitoma had a great season last season. He scored 10 goals and got 8 assists in all competitions and it will be very interesting to see how Mitoma fares in a European competition and with Brighton playing two games every week because that's like preparation for playing at a really big club. So we will see how Mitoma handles that uh, workload. Two seasons ago Mitoma also had a pretty decent season scoring eight goals and four assists but I think his breakthrough season was last season getting 18 goals. 18 goal contributions in all competitions is really really impressive but I thought Mitoma is younger. I'm just reading that he's 26 years old. He will be 27 years old by the time next uh, transfer window rolls around. So I'm not sure if Liverpool would want to say, spend a lot of money on a 27 year old. We are looking for age profiles between 20 and 25. I think that's the ideal age for signing a, a salary replacement. And as I said, Mitoma's best position is as a left winger. But Mitoma is kind of a late bloomer, just like uh, Wataru Endo. He played in the Japanese league until he was like 24. But he had great seasons in Japanese leagues uh, for Kawasaki Frontale. He's had an 18 goal season and a 12 goal season <clears throat> for them before going on loan to Union saint Giloa, one of the opponents of Liverpool in the Europa League where he scored 8 goals in 29 games and then he started playing for Brighton and uh, I already mentioned his two seasons for Brighton. So Liverpool are keeping tabs on Mitoma but uh, I don't think he would be uh, my first choice to replace Mo Salah 
mainly because he's not really a right winger and also because he's 26 will be 27 years old next summer I would like somebody who is younger and Brighton are confident of uh, extending Mitoma's deal uh, with for one more season anyway I mean uh, for a maybe two or three year contract extension but Liverpool's recruitment department has built a reputation of being forward thinking always planning ahead and uh, if the Liverpool's recruitment staff are shifting through the profile of a Salah replacement then he must be young he must be left-footed versatile forward with European experience who can burst forward at pace and who has end product Real Sociedad Takefusha Kubo it simply has to be on that shortlist. He's 22 years old, so he perfectly fits into the age profile that Liverpool are okay, looking for. He already has plenty of experience under his belt, with low moves to Mallorca twice, Hetafe, Villarreal, before being sold to Real Sociedad from Real Madrid last summer. And he started this season on fire. Stylistically, he's of course another Japanese forward. The Japanese forward likes to run at his man a lot. Kupo has a 4.3 attempted take-ons per 90 minutes last season and he was in the top 6% of all forwards in La Liga last season. Based on the attacking carries, only Real Madrid's Vinicius Jr. Yannick Carrasco, Bilbao's Nico Williams lodged more attacking carries than Takafushi Pusha Kubo's 47 attacking carries in La Liga last season. Most notably, these carries are heavily geared towards uh, ending in shots, with 68% of his total attacking carries ending with a strike on goal. But he's not a one dimensional speed demon. He has versatility, he's able to operate on either flank, so he can play right wing, left wing. And also he had a strong relationship with uh, Alexander Zorloth in uh, the 4-1-3-2 formation for Real Sociedad last season. And he is starting to add goals and assists to his game. He scored 9 goals last season, he got 7 assists as well. He has already bagged 3 goals and got 1 assist this season. Having been sold to Real Sociedad last summer, Real Madrid of course inserted a buyback clause. So it would be a delicate situation, but he is surely one player that should be on the short list and as i said he's right he's an out and out right winger he's japanese he's young 22 years old with bags of potential and because he's playing in spain he wouldn't cost as much as if he was playing in the premier league my main worry is that he's still a rough diamond because uh, apart from last season there is not one standout season in his career where he scored more than four goals. For Mallorca he scored four goals in the 1920 season but since then he only has like two goals per season on average until last season where he exploded for Real Sociedad scoring nine goals and seven assists and I mean this season already three goals in four games so he already has uh, 12 goals in uh, the last uh, one and uh, a quarter one and a uh, one fifth season but uh, I think we should scout a lot of players during the whole season and at the end of the season where we will find out whether Salah signs a contract extension if not then Liverpool definitely should sell Salah for a big profit then we can go for somebody like Kubo if he get, has another season where he gets around 10 goals and around 10 assists as well and at just 22 years old he already has 222 professional appearances in football scoring 32 goals throughout his career plus he has 26 games for the Japanese national team scoring two goals as well which is really really impressive his current market value is around 30 million euros but I think he will be a lot more expensive because because he's just signed uh, like last uh, last summer a five-year contract so his contract expires in 2027 so he will cost probably 50 60 million pounds but Liverpool will have enough money to replace Salah because as I said we expect at least 100 million from a Saudi Arabian club next summer. Another star winger from the La Liga who should be also on the shortlist of Liverpool is Nico Williams, the younger brother of Inaki Williams. He's playing for 
Athletic Bilbao is just 21 years old, he's 181 centimeters tall and uh, he started his fourth season for Bilbao and last season was his breakthrough season at just 20 years old he played four to three games for Bilbao scoring nine goals in the process and this season in four games in La Liga he already has four assists in four games which is really really impressive last season not just did he score nine goals but got six assists as well so very similar numbers to uh, Kubo which is really really impressive as well and his main position is a right winger just like uh, Kubo and his contract expires in 2024 which is really surprising I'm not sure why they didn't uh, extend his contract so he's on the la in the last year of his contract I'm not sure how accurate this is because this is coming from transfer mark this information but if he's a free agent next summer we absolutely have to sign a pre-contract agreement with Nico Williams even if we keep Salah Nico Williams on a free transfer would be an absolute bargain and I really really hope that Liverpool get this deal done because he's a fantastic player I watch Real Liga regularly because uh, one of my favorite teams Real Batiste is playing there of course mainly I'm a Liverpool fan but I like watching other teams in other leagues and Real Batiste I'm a big fan of them and I've been watching La Liga highlights regularly and Atleti like Vivo always a top 10 side and they are very very good and Nico Williams is one of their best players he's absolutely electric he's playing for the Spain national team as well he already has nine appearances for them scoring two goals he recently scored against Georgia in Spain's emphatic 7-1 victory in the Euro qualifiers and another player on the shortlist to replace Mo Salah is Brian Mbumo, the Brentford attacker and Stan Collimer, former Liverpool striker, have advised Liverpool to, to look uh, up Bumo and to scout him and I think Liverpool are well aware of him because Brentford beat us 3-1 last season and Bumo was great in that game. He said uh, uh, Colin Moore, interestingly it's uh, actually one of Ivan Toney's uh, Brentford teammates that I think Liverpool should be taking a closer look at Brian and Bumo I love him by the way Ivan Tony in a recent podcast said that he is a Liverpool fan through and through which is really really interesting and unexpected Colin Moore continued it may surprise some of you but Mbumo is my favorite player in the Premier League I think he is quality whenever I watch him he gets the ball close to his feet he's very direct he makes excellent runs in the channels he can drop deep he holds the ball up really well he's very supportive of his striking partner he gets into the box and poaches goals he's physically strong he's a great player if Salah does end up leaving Liverpool then I certainly think Jurgen Klopp should consider Mbumo and according to Stan Collymore Liverpool should ask uh, any Saudi Arabian side for a huge amount of money he said the reality is Liverpool aren't in the same financial bracket as the likes of Man City and Chelsea so if Ali Tiad or any other club make them an offer and don't get me wrong it will have to be a mega offer probably a world record then I can see them accepting because they can just can't afford to say no to something like 300 million pounds I don't see Salah as a disruptive type of player but if reports are true that he's being offered one and a half million pounds per week there is no way he's turning his back on that who would but it, it isn't just the money on offer that will appeal to Salah there is a huge culture aspect to this potential move he's a strict Muslim and let's be honest he isn't a born and bred scouser yes he will go down as a Liverpool legend but he's a career professional that has already had several high profile transfers so why wouldn't he move to the Middle East for me it's quite simple if I'm Liverpool then I'm asking for at least 200 million for Salah I think he gave this interview before the transfer window slammed shot but right now I think if Liverpool would sell Salah next summer I think 150 or 200 million would still be a fantastic uh, price for that and Boom is 24 years old so he's also at the perfect age and he has been very consistent for Brentford always scoring at least eight goals but I think uh, recently he has really exploded into a brilliant brilliant player this season he already has four goals in five games and he's in my fantasy Premier League team as well so in the championship for Brentford when they got promoted before they got promoted he scored 16 and 8 goals in two seasons and then in his first Premier League season he scored 8 goals but last season was his best season he scored 9 goals last season and got 8 assists as well which is pretty brilliant but this season 
he can easily get to 15 to maybe 20 goals in all competitions because already he has four goals in five games as I said which is pretty brilliant and he is playing for the Cameroon national team as well he scored one goal in nine appearances for them so this is the kind of uh, not the whole shortlist but the shortlist that I could come up with of players that could replace Mo Salah realistically next summer let me know who would be your favorite uh, Salah replacement next summer let me know in the comments below and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video Diogo Jota had a fantastic game for Portugal against Lostenburg they won 9-0 I think Jota got two goals got an assist he had six shots he hit the woodwork once as well he has uh, had a 9.3 out of 10 match rating which is absolutely fantastic and Ben Doak also had a great game uh, for the Scotland on the 21s against Spain's on the 21s uh, I watched the compilation of him and he was really really awesome so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video have a nice day see you later goodbye